welcome back to my channel. So I popped into Boots the other day and I picked up tons and tons of makeup just because I needed a revamp and there's so much new stuff out there that I just wanted to get my hands on them and play around with them a little bit and give them a try. I was actually going through my channel and looking at the tutorials that I've already created for you guys and I realised that I haven't actually done very many drugstore makeup looks apart from the back to school makeup look which I did and that's not really glam or anything that's kind of like an everyday makeup routine or something that you can wear to school so I thought I would put some of my favorite things that I bought from Boots and I came up with this pink and grey cut crease eye with a pastel pink lip so if you want to see how I created this drugstore makeup look then please keep on watching I'm starting off by priming my face using this Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shaving Balm and if you haven't seen my first impressions video on this product then I'll link it down below. But I absolutely love this as a primer, it works great for sensitive and dry skin. For foundation I'm using this Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour foundation in the shade Natural Beige. I really like this foundation considering it's a drugstore product. I love that it's not only buildable but the lasting power on this foundation is amazing. I've worn it for an entire day and had no problems with this product whatsoever and the coverage is really nice. It makes my skin look super super flawless. My only bugbear is that I wish this came in a wider range of shades because this I believe is the darkest shade in the range and I find it slightly lighter than my actual skin tone but we can work with it as I'll be contouring and bronzing later on anyway. Does anyone else struggle with finding a drugstore foundation for their skin tone? Let me know in the comment section down below because I'd like to hope that it's not just me. As you can see, I'm just working the foundation in with my beauty blender and don't forget to take the foundation down to your neck as well, especially if it's a different shade like mine is. For my concealer, I'm using my favourite Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer in the shade Nude and I like to use my concealer as a highlighter so I'm applying the product on my under eyes, my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow and chin and also I'm applying it around my mouth area and just underneath where my contour lines will go as well. And applying the concealer in these areas will just bring them forward. And again, I'm just using my beauty blender to work the concealer in. If you don't have this tool, you definitely need to get your hands on this. It seriously changed my makeup game and it makes my face look super flawless. And to set all the areas I've just highlighted, I'm using my Soap & Glory Kick-Ass Instant Retouch Press Powder. And I'm taking this flat foundation brush and pressing the powder into my face rather than using a swiping motion. Because if you swipe, you'll end up moving the concealer around, which we really don't want. Next to contour, I'm using my Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm Cosmetics and I'm just contouring the hollows of my cheeks, my temples and just underneath my bottom lip and my nose as well. This is a really nice bronzer to contour with because it has great undertone so it stops the contours looking too muddy on the face. It's important to remember that contouring is meant to subtly enhance your beauty, not to change your face shape. You can definitely end up going crazy with contouring and highlighting, but I like to keep it pretty simple-ish, I guess. So anyways, I'm taking my beauty blender again and bouncing that above my nose contour. The excess product left on the beauty blender will blend everything out nicely. Next I'm taking the bronzer from my sleek contour palette and I'm just applying that above my contour and this will add a little life back into my face since the foundation shade is slightly lighter and it also helps blend the contour in as well. I'm moving on to brows next so I'm taking my Soap & Glory Archery Pencil in Hot Chocolate and this is a great dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I'm just combing through my brows first and then I'm taking the pencil end and drawing on soft hair like strokes. I seriously can't tell you guys how incomplete I feel when my eyebrows aren't filled in. I love thick full eyebrows. I wish I had them naturally. So to set my eyebrows in place, I'm using this L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This is amazing. It blends out any of the harsh pencil strokes and makes my brows look super, super full. 
Moving on to the eyes, I'm first using this Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Pink Gold as a base for my eyeshadows. And I'm just concentrating most of the product on my eyelids because I want my eyelids to really pop. And for this entire look, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Blushed Nudes Palette. And I'm first going ahead and highlighting my brow bones using this shimmery white shadow which has fine sparkles which is super pretty. Next for my transition colour, I'm using this matte mauve shade. I am so obsessed with this shade for my transition colour. I just think it looks so, so nice. And I'm literally just using a windscreen wiper motion to blend the eyeshadow in until I'm happy. Next I'm taking this stunning metallic goldish pink eyeshadow and I'm patting it onto my eyelid area. I'm basically just building the eyeshadow up until I'm happy with the intensity. For my crease colour I'm taking this black brown eyeshadow which has stunning specks of rose gold glitter in it and I decided to go for a cut crease for this eye look so I'm just initially mapping out my crease and blending the eyeshadow into my transition shade. I'm also just carving the cut crease out towards my temples which will make my eyes appear a little bit more elongated. When I'm doing a cut crease I tend to look at both eyes which is what I'm doing here and then I go back and forth between them until I'm happy with the way that they both look and I'll keep adding and blending until I think they look similar. Next I'm taking this silver eyeshadow and applying it to my tear ducts and look how instantly they pop. I love doing this. For my eyeliner I'm taking this Maybelline Master Ink Matte Eyeliner. The trick to eyeliner is taking your time and drawing on small strokes and I'm keeping the eyeliner close to my lash line and building up as necessary. For my lower lash line, I'm taking this Maybelline Colour Tattoo in the shade Vintage Plum. This is such a stunning colour. It's a greyish purple which is so gorgeous. Next, I'm taking this darker greyish silver eyeshadow and using a detailed eyeshadow brush, I'm stamping on the eyeshadow just to make the lower lash line a little darker. For lashes, I'm taking my Demi Wispies and stacking them on top of my WPS I think they're WPS or WSP, anyway they're red cherry lashes, I'll link it down below. And I place a lash in the middle of my eyelid and then pull both ends down into place using my tweezers. If you'd like me to do a more in depth how to apply lashes then let me know in the comment section down below and I'll film that for you. Next I'm taking my Maybelline Master Smoky Pencil in black and I'm just lining my upper waterline. For mascara, I'm using this Maybelline Push Up Drama Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. I look so awkward when I'm applying mascara. I have absolutely no idea why I'm bending my head in such an odd position. <laughs> but forgive me for my weirdness. Next for highlight, I'm taking my Mary Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics and applying that to my cheekbones, the tip of my nose because I love a little shiny nose. And I'm also applying the highlight on my forehead and my chin and Cupid's bow. I like applying my blusher towards the end because once everything is completed I get a better idea of which blusher I think will work best for the look. So for this look I'm going for my sleek blusher in the shade Pomegranate which is such a beautiful purpley pink shade and it's so so pigmented. All the sleek products I feel like are really really worth every penny that you pay for. I think they're so underrated. But anyway, I'm just applying the blusher on the apples of my cheeks. 
And finally for lips, I'm taking my Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade You're All Mine and this Kiko Lipstick in the shade Pink Carnation which is from their Velvet Matte range and I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's only like £6.90 or something like that. And here is the completed look. And this is the final look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more drugstore related makeup tutorials, then give this video a thumbs up and I will film some more for you. And if you have any comments or suggestions of anything else that you'd like to see, then leave them in the comment section down below and I'll definitely try and film those for you as well. But if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And if you're on Instagram or on Twitter, then don't forget to follow me at me. Mimi P. I'll leave all the details in the description box below but I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!